Hi, Ryan Michael Galloway from We Don't Need No Stinking Record And uh, last night we talked about uh, songwriting, part of the new section that we're working on, which is make some news. And it's hard to make some news without some good material. So, songwriting and the basics of songwriting. And I've written a book on it, so I, I've also been a published songwriter. Hopefully, I know a little bit and I can share some things with it, uh, with, about it with you. So, used to be when I was shopping songs to companies in New York, I would have uh, major issues. I'd run into somebody and they'd say, I don't hear a hook. And I'd say, Great, what's a hook? And they'd say, I don't know, it's that thing. And nobody would ever tell me what a hook was. Um, these execs, they know what they like, but they have no idea a lot of times, with the exception of a couple of guys that worked with me a bunch, Lana Lambert and uh, Erwin Schuster. They knew their stuff and they taught me a lot about songwriting. But most of the guys, no, they had no idea. So now they could tell me what, what a hook was, and I'm going to tell you what a hook is. A hook is that kind of signature of the song that makes you know what song you're listening to. And there's a couple different kinds. There's a musical hook and there is kind of a lyrical hook. So, an example of a good uh, musical hook might be the opening riff for Layla, or perhaps the, uh, the uh, opening riffs for, uh, oh, America's uh, 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 Sister Golden Hair would be a good one. And also, uh, oddly enough, another Eric Clapton inspired riff for uh, My Sweet Lord. Those would be some good uh, musical riffs. The first few bars, you know what you're listening to, and it, and it makes a lot of sense. Another hook is the thing that lyrically names the song, usually in a chorus or, or in a song without a chorus, at the end of the verse. An example would be, Don't It Make My Brown Eyes Blue, or uh, Bridge Over Troubled Waters. Bridge Over Tro Troubled Waters is probably one of the, the most heavily played songs in history, highest selling songs in history. And so if you think about it, every single lead, uh, line in the song leads up to this hook line, like a bridge over troubled waters, I will lay me down. And that line names the song. And it really gives you something to hang your hat on, and the song keeps coming back to that. And the structure of the song really supports that hook, and it stays in your head, and you know what the song is called, and sometimes even what the song's about. There are some weaker hooks, uh, Take It Easy by the Eagles. They, you know, that doesn't really knock me out as a hook, but it was a great song. Um, it only takes a minute, girl, to fall in love. Uh, that's another example of one that was, it's an okay, it's an okay hook, it's not a great one. What really is important is if you can come up with a hook first when you're writing a song, it becomes the compass to the song. And it makes it really easy to write that song when you know what you're going to say, because everything that you write can lead up to that line that you're going to say. And that's terrific. Um, it does not necessarily have to be a great hook or a real you know, true idea, as it were, it has to be something that inspires you as a songwriter to write uh, a story or an interesting lead up to it or, you know, communicate an interesting idea, even if it's not some, you know, really fantastic or unusual hook. So that's a little bit about hooks. They are also sometimes the payoff line of the song, if you will. I uh, hope that helps a little bit. I'm Ryan Michael Galloway from We Don't Need No Stinking Record Company dot com.